All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lupagas show. Correction, this is the One Bar and Lupagals show premiere. Premiere show. Woo! Very, very excited Woo! about this. We got the cream of the crop. Cream of the crop when it comes to ladies Vikings fans, especially on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Lupagas, you all know that mug down there, but we got we got Coda in the house. Spitfire Coda given to her by Paul Allen himself. She's been on the show <laughs> a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh you know she's on the bikes now does her own thing big following on tiktok uh we got shelby tweeting in the house everybody knows shelby she's one of the ogs on twitter vikings fans absolutely know her uh and you know first timer we're we're very yes. very happy to have what shelby an intro yeah in the house and uh the aries archive <laughs> yes mm -hmm. yes aries archive link will be in the description fantastic vikings gear and i love the retro the best part I mean, and i'm biased because I love corduroy old Vikings hats. Yes. And, and they're there and they're yep. beautiful. They are, they are. absolutely gorgeous. I so hit them. that up. Uh, we got Miss Alyssa in the house and we all know Miss Alyssa. Alyssa, how many how many followers are you up to on Twitter? Are you oh, at nine yet? I'm almost, no, I'm almost to eight. I have like a hundred to go to 8,000. So that's exciting. Yes. Yes. Nice. yes. You're so, putting in work. Yeah. Yes, she is. Work. I'm trying. <laughs> a, a very, very familiar face. Always fantastic. At least like her, a six timer, um, right? I mean, she's been on here quite a few times. It's been a, it's been a lot. I love it. Who's I love yeah. it. Yeah, but well, look on her face. Good. She might never come back again, but we're happy to have her. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got we got the legend of Cora. She said we could just wow. call her Cora, but hell no. I'm put, I'm giving that thing respect. It is the legend of <laughs> Cora is in the house again. Name. Another <laughs> another first timer. Happy to have her. Uh, and one of the hosts of the Three Blind Vikes, a new podcast. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And you guys, you're, you're doing a show like tonight, right? Yeah, we're doing a show right after this. Yep. Wow. Nice. All right. A little live show, sure. like a little baby child of our the three of us. So that is uh, that oh, is yeah. wonderful. The links will be down in the description for that as well. So uh, everybody, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Very excited. Yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to be here. So we're going to have some different topics we're going to talk about tonight. Let's start with the first one. J.J. McCarthy, we've got a very limited sample size of what he could do this preseason. What, three weeks of training camp, half a preseason game. How excited are you guys for his future? And give me a percent chance you actually think he is the guy, he is the future franchise quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings. Let's start with the legend of Cora. I am so excited. So excited. I have, I wanted to start over at quarterback and like quit getting all these people bringing him in. And I wanted a rookie for so long. And so I'm really excited that he came on all of everything I've learned about him and like just his like calm demeanor and like go with the flow and everything he posts about like everything. I just love him so much. And I really did enjoy watching him in the preseason or not, not very, not very much in the preseason, but like training camp and all those updates. I was really excited. Um, maybe not excited as everyone else because I was waiting to see more, but I'm so stoked that we have a good quarterback with the staff around him and all of the weapons around him. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know how many times I can say that, like, it's going to be really hard for a quarterback to fail with mm -hmm. everyone we have, but I'm so excited. I'm excited. Right. Hell yeah. Uh, a lot I don't of know nodding. If I can convey how excited I am. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a lot of agreement, but tweets me, yeah. Shelby, you were nodding as hard as everybody else. Uh, what do you feel about JJ McCarthy? Well, you know, I'm a big Kirk stand. That's kind of that. Yeah, I think a lot of people here are. So that's, that's okay. Good, good. good. I'm with my people. Oh, you too, definitely. Yeah. I am not a Kirk fan. I wanted to not even have Kirk Cousins in the beginning, and I wanted Alex Smith, and I wanted to draft a quarterback. Oh, wow. Well, Alex good thing Smith. we didn't do Alex Smith. <laughs> well, I don't know if he would have had a game or a career-ending injury, but maybe. I guess we don't know. It's crazy. I. I think for me, I'm just very afraid of the unknown, especially as the Vikings fans with our quarterback history. It's just, I felt like Kirk Cousins was the most consistency we've had in, you know, at least 10 years. So it was really hard. Even with Favre, we only had him for two seasons. He was never injured. Going into McCarthy, my biggest thing is I don't watch college football. 
So it was hard to have like a real input on that and hard to get excited. So I was kind of going off of what everybody else was thinking and what everybody else was feeling. And I did watch the combine. But what I did witness and everything that I've seen from him, not only on the field, but like Cora was saying, off the field, I feel like he fits in so well in our system. He fits in so well with, you know, the family dynamic that the Vikings have and the fact that he's coming in so young with O'Connell. I think that that's just starting him off for a really good career. And, you know, everyone's going to say the weapons are crazy. It's really hard to – I mean, you just kind of got to throw up the ball. Even with Sam Darnold, it's the same thing. Like We yeah. can make Nick Mullins look good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. For while, for while. Right. Mm-hmm. For, I mean, Dobbs, like we really could make anybody look good. And I think, again, him starting out so young, O'Connell and him seem to have such a good relationship. I'm very excited to – see where we go from here but you know i like to remain prepared for the worst clearly because yeah. Yeah. look at us now <laughs> uh, i know I, gotta, I gotta ask what... i gotta ask shelby so if, if kurt cousins goes out and rips it up for the falcons which is there's some pretty damn good weapons there too mm-hmm. Are, is, mm-hmm. is he in your rear view mirror or will you be like just really devastated that like just like we should have kept them we messed up or are you over uh, I am not over him. I will tell you that. I think that, you know, really? his, yeah, his time has oh. passed. I think it's going to be different. If we had McCarthy, I think I would have felt differently. The fact that we lost him and now we have to watch Darnold Mullins, like QB roulette. Can we swear on here? Because swearing Absolutely. is my favorite thing to do. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, the shit show that is the QB roulette of the Vikings. Um, so I think it is. it would be hard for me to watch. Uh, but at the same time, like, what are you really going to do? It's the Falcons. I'm not really worried. If he would have went to, like, Green Bay or, like, something crazy, oh that would have pissed me off more. But he's not even in the NFC. So it's kind of just, like, enjoy your time <laughs> over there. All right. Kurt, all right, a lot, Cody, a lot of her heart you're up so next. Cool, you got a you got a blue glow. It looks like a force ghost up there from Star Wars. Um, <laughs> well, it's great. I like well, it. Um, what are you, JJ you know McCarthy, me. your thoughts? How excited are you? Um, I really hate JJ McCarthy. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, no. So obviously, you know, it's no surprise that I also was the biggest Kirk stan ever. I was quite literally Kirk's minivan for the longest time on Twitter, thanks to one of my followers. I he's still on my wall. Yeah. Um, and you know, I I got some heat on Twitter for crying because he was gone. It's a whole thing. But I think I was. Pro- I'm also like Shelby in that I don't really watch a lot of college football. I watch the Gophers if they're on TV here. I follow Notre Dame pretty closely. So obviously I'm not paying attention to Michigan, but you know, when February rolled around and it was really time to start kind of like hitting the grindstone in regards to the draft, my eye immediately went to the JJ McCarthy highlights because he played very similarly to Kirk cousins. Mm -hmm. And so of course my eye is going to go to him thinking, Oh, with the way that Kirk played and the way that this guy plays, it's going to be like a seamless transition. If Kirk does decide to stay here and this kid learns under him or Kirk ultimately leaves. And, you know, a lot of people on Twitter were very much on the Drake may hype train, which they should have been. He's, he's a fantastic quarterback as well. And with all the rumors and like the uh, invisible string theories to Drake may in regards to some of our uh, staffing decisions, Ultimately, what sold it for me on J.J. McCarthy is this one video from the combine of him throwing to his uh, running back, I believe, in the middle of a lobby at a hotel. And it's like a second floor mezzanine. They're not on like the level like in into a hallway. I saw that video and I was like, sold. That's my quarterback. (laughs) And if like. And then on draft night, and you can go, it's one of my pinned TikToks. There is a video of me reacting to us drafting JJ McCarthy. And I'm like screaming. I'm like, I can't sit still. And then seeing him in the the preseason, you know, after that first interception, I was like, okay, it's off to a rough start. But I mean, it's his first time ever in the big leagues playing like this. He's going to be fine after. And then what happened? Mm -hmm. And then for him to immediately go from that one interception to some beautiful touchdown plays. And yeah. then for him to even say that interception is what helped me focus and what helped me center. I'm like, that's our guy. That so right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That right there is Kevin O'Connell's guy because we mm-hmm. all know very well. And I've been telling my friend who's a Falcons fan this over and over and over again, love Kirk cousins to death. 
that would have that one interception would have stuck with Kirk Cousins for the rest of the game mm-hmm. because he's an emotional guy. Whereas JJ McCarthy, he he also is an emotional guy, but in the complete opposite spectrum of Kirk. In that, okay, now I can really play. Like I got my one mistake out, and he's he's our quarterback of the future, whether people want to admit it or not. And, you know, as sad as I am that he won't be playing at all this season, though I was one of those people who was like, I don't think he should. I can't wait for dis- for us to see more of him. I genuinely can't. Hell yeah. Well said, Coda. Great Taylor Swift reference in there, too. It was <laughs> string. I caught that. I don't think I didn't. I don't think I didn't. You know me. I, I got nothing. I do. <laughs> Miss Alyssa, I think we all know where you're going with this one. I can see him right behind your shoulder. But, uh... <laughs> you guys know how I feel about JJ McCarthy. I've got my little mini man right here behind me. Um, <laughs> it, I, he was my number one during the whole draft, like before that, like, I, again, I wasn't into college football either, but I started watching all the highlights and just looking into some of the prospects. And to me, you guys all summed it up just perfectly. It's just, there's something about him that he had the it factor, his mindset and just everything that he portrays, he just, he has it. And so I'm just, I knew he was going to be something special. I know he's going to be something special and I just cannot wait to see him. And I am just seriously so, so glad that he's a Viking. And we were just talking about him being the stud of the week not too long ago, Lepagus. And yep. um, dang, I just don't know why that had to happen. You know, I was one of the one of the people that I thought he definitely had a chance to play this year. I know a lot of people were kind of, you know, going back and forth. Should he play? Should he not play? I was like, he was going to play. Like, I, I totally believe that now. And so, yeah, I guess 2025, that's that's the year of our guy. I'm excited. I, yeah. I'm I'm obviously disappointed that he got injured, but in a learning standpoint, I'm really glad that he's going to have an entire year. Mm-hmm. Not, I did not want him to get injured. Like mm-hmm. I wanted him to have a whole year of like practice under his belt, but I do feel like there is something to be said for quarterbacks who like don't start their rookie year. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. It's a whole different game. Yeah. So I mean, and, and Kevin said he's already back in meetings and stuff. Yes. So he's already. Yeah, I just saw that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I love how you call him Kevin. God, I. Wish I, I was like, you know what's so funny? When I, I said it out loud, I was like, I hope they don't say anything because I literally was like, why the fuck did I just call him Kevin? I know. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, think about it. Like, as, as of now, you are on a first name basis with every yeah. Minnesota Viking <laughs> on this show. I right? literally in weird. my head was like, why did I just say it like that? But whatever. <laughs> Yeah, if Kevin it makes you Kevin feel any better, the other day. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, like I have Paul Allen's like cell phone number, and I still text him, "Hey, Paul Allen." Like I full name him every time I text him. So, as you well, should, though. As does. you should. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, you know, we're only one question into this, but uh, this is maybe becoming already one of my favorite shows ever. This is fantastic. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so let's so JJ McCarthy obviously out of the equation. We got some new Vikings in the mix, and you know what? I guess it doesn't even have to do, be a new Viking. But uh, what Viking are you most looking forward to seeing this season? And uh, I really hope one of you say my boys. I'm really, really hoping your boys. You said one, then you said boys. Oh, I know, but my boy, boys? my boy, my boy, Coda, are you Coda. Pr- are- <laughs> Are you Kratos in the most recent God of War games? What is this? I don't know these God of War references or Star Wars references. I'm sorry. I'm really, I, uh, I can catch a Taylor Swift one every now and then. But uh, okay, Yoda, who are you most looking forward to seeing this year? Can I just like take the rest of the time to list all of the 53 man roster? Because apparently TikTok men don't think that I can. Oh, but wow! Um, wow. Hey, Yoda, name someone on the Vikings. <laughs> just anyone. Someone, just someone. <laughs> okay, if I were to do like rookie Dallas Turner, yes. I am so yep. looking forward yep. to Dallas Turner. Mm-hmm. But yep. I mean, I could genuinely list the entire defense. The like, I know going into the preseason, the defense was looking a little like we were all really hesitant because after what happened with Kyrie Jackson, a lot of us were really skeptical about the secondary. But I feel like if anything, over the course of those three preseason games, we saw the secondary develop we saw them grow and that was just our second third fourth fifth string guys and with the pickup of stefan gilmore i think if i could say anybody i would just say the entire defense but i would say dallas turner and of course the man who i stole shoelaces for joshua metellus yep yeah yeah 
Uh, Dinner was mine too. The, the shoelaces? Yeah, well, come on, you gotta elaborate okay. on that. Little, little, little something here. So for the um for the Provo voting, I basically threatened people that if they didn't vote for Josh Patelis, I would steal his shoelaces. And he started interacting with every single tweet that I would do saying that I would steal his shoelaces. And I guessed um, Dustin, not Baker, the other one, went to a meet and greet that Josh uh, Joshua Metellus did and went, by the way, Coda, the one who stole shoelaces for you, says hi. And he started laughing and was like, oh, my God, I can't believe that. Like, that That's was so amazing. funny. So he knows me. Gosh. Yes. Yeah. Right? And so I plan on, if I ever get field passes someday, you know, knock on wood, I'm going to make him a friendship bracelet out of shoelaces. That's amazing. Oh, wow. amazing. <laughs> okay, so the goal this oh, season yeah. is to get Coda field passes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That would be so amazing. Well, how would was your shoelace day? bracelet making skills? I mean, can you... Do it. I mean, I'm a Swifty, so of course I can do it. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> whip one of those over in a few seconds, no doubt. Uh, Alyssa, who are you excited to see? Well, mine was totally Dallas Turner. I am so ecstatic to see him. I, I'm, I think he's going to have ten sacks this season. Like, let's just let's go. Um, defensive Rookie Player of the Year. That could totally happen. Mm -hmm. And then I just have to mention this is my other one that I'm very excited. Yes, oh, wow. I was I waiting him. for that. Uh, yeah, Justin he, Jefferson, you can't not be he looks, excited. He looks good. He looks so good. You yeah, not, he does. <laughs> yeah, you can't not be excited for him. Where's the I rest mean, of them. That's that's it. That's all we got. Please tell me you bring that to games. <laughs> no, but I should. Do you think they would let me bring it in? I'd bring that to games. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah Put it on a stick. Beautiful. Put it yeah. in a car. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, Legend of Korra, who, who is it? Okay, well, Koda literally took all of mine. I'm so sorry. My segment on the three blind bikes is Korra gets defensive because defense is my mm -hmm. favorite side of the ball. Nice. I love the defense. So, obviously, I'm super excited about Dallas Turner. I'm also super excited about Josh Metellus because he's always amazing. And I was – I – have been screaming about signing Gilmore for forever, ever since he came off of the Patriots because I love him. So I'm really excited to see him play, not play in the fact that I think he's going to be the same caliber as he was in the past, but just play and be like that leader on the cornerback room. Um, mm -hmm. So I think I will have to say, I don't know. I'm just excited for the whole defense because like I said, I just, I love the defense and I love how Brian Flores coaches. Yes. So yes. I'm just excited to see what he's going to like throw at people. So I don't even know who the one person I'd be the most excited for, but the whole defense, Harrison Smith, I don't know. Yes. Everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Hey, that's, yeah. That, there's no wrong answer here. I mean, that, you can say the defense and that's it's a plus. So hard answer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Shelby, I, I would anticipate you're probably just going to say like the first name. Just, I don't want even want a last yeah. name. So <laughs> Doug. <laughs> D oh my gosh. I was like, why am I only going to say first name? I'm already past that. Um, wow. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah. Well, past. <laughs> Justin. No, you guys, you guys have basically named everybody. I am also excited to see Bynum. I feel like he had a good year last year. I'm excited to see him grow as a player. Metellus, you know, he played every position. So it's kind of like, what's he going to lock into? You know what I'm saying? Like, because he's not going to be able to be doing that for, I mean, he could, but I feel like we'll find like a solid place. I feel like before we needed someone that was able to fit in everywhere. Um, Dallas Turner has to give him a position because he yeah. has to be ranked. Yep. So exactly. we got to give him that. <laughs> exactly. Go. He needs something that like, he can be the best of this. Like right now he's the best of like the wheel of fortune, but he needs one thing. Dallas Turner, I agree, could be defensive rookie of the year, which is an amazing thing. And then Justin Jefferson, if you, I feel like it's not even just a Vikings thing. I think that I, around the league, everyone gets excited to see him. And I think that we're very blessed to, you know, have him on our team. So we yeah. need to take full advantage of that because I one thing I regret is Randy Moss and not being able to like fully enjoy him before he 
left us. Yes. Exactly. Wah, wah. Hopefully JJ never leaves, but you know. Never right. leaving us. <laughs> no, he, he has no chance. Not alone. We're we taking his shoelaces if yes, we he are. gets <laughs> We're tying them together so we can't leave. Exactly. Hey, hey, hey. We can't I, go anywhere. I gotta I gotta ask one quick. You bring up Randy Moss. So yeah. Who were your guys' players like when you right when you got into football, especially the Vikings? Like, like, like me and Lopagus are old as shit. So, like, mine was like yeah. Anthony Carter in like 1990s. So, like, who, who was your guy that was just like, you damn, can have I was as many as you want, Koto? I've got two. Um, so I was born in 98, which is the same year that we drafted Randy Moss. I was also born about a month and some change before we drafted Randy Moss. And so, my dad used to say that we drafted Randy Moss because of me. Um, and so nice. growing up, he was considered my man. Um, yes. But obviously, my love for Kyle Rudolph is not not hidden. I'm very open not healthy. How much I love Kyle Rudolph. <laughs> no, it's very much not healthy. It, it's 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 a little sad. Um, but you know, oh, sometimes you just not. don't get over your childhood crush. Uh, he was my mm -hmm. first jersey that I purchased as an adult, <laughs> and I I love him very much. Nice. For me, I obviously Randy Moss, I just said that. Yep. I think that he's like, he's the first person I remember like being drawn to. Just like everything about him, even off the field. Like I remember the hair, I remember the braces, like, mm -hmm. you know, and that was, talk about first crush. That was kind of the first time that I was like, hmm, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yes. I see you over there. Mm -hmm. Um. But the first player that legitimately got me, because I was young, you know, I'm 93, um, is Adrian Peterson. I remember mm -hmm. the game. I remember the moment in 08, and I was on the couch with my dad, and I was like, okay, actually teach me the game. Like, it's one thing to just watch. I want to know everything that's going on because I was just – I was locked in. Of course, you know, one of our greatest heartbreaks was – followed right after that but <laughs> welcome to the vikings fans am i right <laughs> <laughs> yep yep my i have like two times two groups i guess of people so my first watching the vikings really paying attention was a william Wa williams wall kevin and pat williams nice. and i actually had their jersey growing up um so just like a little kid one so i like i said i've always loved the defense I don't know why, but like, I just love the chess match that a defense yeah. can be. Mm -hmm. um, so I loved watching the Williams wall and I loved watching just how dominant that defense was. Yeah. Winfield senior, one yes. of my all time favorite Vikings. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. If I could ever get a signed Jersey of, hit, of a Viking, it would be him. Yep. Uh, and then I fell out of love with the Vikings and just in a like um, when the love boat happened. And then, like, you know, just I just paid you a Fred Smoot guy. And then, a Fred Smoot jersey. and then Anthony Barr was the one that brought it back in the first uh, nice. draft pick for Zim. And mm. I just love his foundation. I love his story. I love, you know, that. I just, I just love it all. So he was the the person who kind of brought it back into my obsessive fandom um, <laughs> because I just really like, I like him. And I honest, I followed him for a while. I don't, he's not signed. He's no, not on a team. You mean like you were following but, him. Yeah. Like to the grocery oh, store. Right. <laughs> it's, it's gonna get really creepy yeah. I, I know his routine. I <laughs> No, he's not signed because he was with the Vikings on the practice squad. The last team he was on, right? That was yeah. After yeah. That. yeah. So, yep. yeah. And before that, he was with Dallas. Yeah. With mm -hmm. Zim. And now Eric Hendricks is with uh, Zimmer. Yeah, so everybody is. Hmm. But those are my those are my four, I guess. All right, Alyssa, who you got? Oh, yeah. Mine would definitely be Randy Moss and Chris Carter. Those are the two that just oh. – got me into it. Um, my dad, of course, is the one who got me hooked as well. And I remember wearing my Moss jersey. And I also had a Carter jersey when I was really little and just rocking those. Um, and then, yeah, just got more into it. And same with Shelby, Adrian Peterson. That was the next big one up that just yeah. skyrocketed my fandom. And 
I, I remember I had sideline passes. I don't even remember what year it was, but I got, I was right next to Adrian Peterson and I've just never been so starstruck in my life. Yes. Jeez. Um, that was cool. But yeah, those would be the the top three for me. Nice. Nice. All right, so I don't know if you guys are paying attention to all these uh, preseason prognications. That's even a word, but everybody's projecting records. No one's being very nice to the Minnesota Vikings. No. Um, but the Vikings do surprise the world, shock the world. What is the reason for it? Why could they surprise this year? Miss Alyssa, let's start with you. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, you know, if we shock the league this year, it's going to be because of Sam Darnold. I will oh, say man. that right now, Sam Darnold is going to have one of those comeback years. I am here for it. It's going to happen. I'm manifesting it. Every one of you needs to do that with me. Man, <laughs> I'm in. Manifesting. I'm in. Oh. Manifesting. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, you know, I think back to last season, it's going to be like Baker Mayfield or even two seasons ago, Geno Smith. It's going to be mm. one of those seasons um, because, yeah. as we've all said, all the weapons around him right now, you know, that he's going to have. If there's going to be a year where Sam's going to ball out and do this thing, it's going to be this year with us. And he's got so much to prove. Um, you know, he doesn't have JJ breathing down his neck anymore. So that's going to be, I hope, helpful for his mindset. Okay. I think a lot of it with Sam is confidence. Um, you know, and I, I, I just keep hearing how he's doing so well. And, you know, what Wes, the offensive coordinator today, was saying, how good he's doing. I saw that, um, you know, what else? There was something else he said that was really interesting. I don't know if you guys heard it, but yeah, he's just doing so good. And then every player around him is like, he can sling the ball and throw the ball. You know, he's, he's got what it takes. So it's just got to all come together. So Sam it's the Sam. man. Oh, yeah. That's what we do. Or was it this way? I forget. No, yeah. it's okay. So I, I'm a fellow ginger like Darnold. <laughs> so I have the most power here, Back ladies. Off. I'm sorry. I got this. <laughs> I got actually yeah, so is my magic. babushka yeah. she is also a ginger is she? <laughs> yes she is, old is babushka. i like babushka already <laughs> oh don't ask me that question i, don't, yeah. uh, I, well, I was thinking of red hair she but uh yeah, was there a gold girl who had red hair no it's mona from who's the boss that's yeah mona from who's the boss uh <laughs> anyway <laughs> <red hair. laughs> all right legend of cora why could the viking surprise um so I actually thought of this as we were talking about who you're most excited to see because everyone was talking about defensive players. I'm like, all right, I got to think of someone on the offense that who I'm most excited to see just to think of something else. But I think a reason why the Vikings could shock the NFL is because Aaron Jones. Yes. I, mm, yeah. He has a lot of like hidden, not he hasn't reached his potential and like they talk he talked about today how he's feeling really great and he does his rehab assignments like 30 to 45 minutes of just like pre-workout rehab mm -hmm. before yeah. he actually works out and so i'm really excited um to see what he's gonna do and i think he could be a reason be to shock the nfl because he's gonna be off on the side causing a distraction so Sam Darnold can sling it down the field and then hey JJ's down there oh wait there goes Aaron Jones yeah so I'm pretty excited to see him play um and like in all of the drafts that I've done so far and I have I've done five so all the fantasy drafts I've done so far That's they like Aaron Jones is not picked <laughs> Yeah. I know. I know. I think he, people back. forgot about him. For they did. Sure. Yeah. Yes. But it just it's it still kind of shocks me because like we have a good offensive line. I mean, it's not great, but like mm -hmm. it's better than it has been in the past. Mm -hmm. And he is continually like third or fourth round. Yeah. Yeah. And it just shocks me. Like I forget that he's there. I know. And I'm like, how is he still on the board? <laughs> so. Will Reichard's getting taken before him in many leagues. <laughs> no, seriously. Will Reichard was my guy. I was hoping someone was going to say they're most. Oh afraid. my god! I was wondering <laughs> who it was. I was going to ask you. Oh my god. Give me two seconds. I'm getting yes. there. My heart is broken. <laughs> I have my list too. I promise. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, Cody, go ahead. You really want to say your guys? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't want to. No, um, I'm going to whisper this so the universe won't hear me. But uh -oh. I think that kicking is going to be. Oh, I was going to say, don't year. say it. Don't say I it. Oh. She did it. I just said it's better. I just said it. I didn't say that. Now you're not going back to this clip. Ooh, <laughs> not going to be wood. interesting. Wink, wink. It's, <laughs> right. 
<laughs> in the preseason, uh-huh. it was better than it has been in previous preseasons. Mm-hmm. Correct. <laughs> that is what I will say. But I don't as as good as it was in preseason and I hope that continues. I'm trying so hard to be careful. I know. <laughs> I don't even want to that, talk about it. I know. <laughs> I haven't. I've been like. It's done. Um, we get it. I, 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 have to, I, have to, I have to go back to the defense. I think a lot of the trash talk against the Vikings this offseason was about our defense and how it got worse mm-hmm. or it just didn't improve. But I genuinely think that that defense, I've been saying it, I, you know, two years ago, with um, Zadarius and with um, Daniil, people were talking, oh, is this going to be Purple People Eaters 2.0? Is, you know, and I, I was like, you know, let's let's hold off on that. I think we're now in it. I think yeah. Ivan Pace Jr., Dallas yes. Turner, all of the free agents that we've picked up, both undrafted and when free agency began, this is the year of the Purple People Eaters 2.0. And I wasn't even alive wow. back then, but it is my wow. favorite defense to bold ever exist. Very bold. Is this going to be like a prediction? But I love Bookmark it. it. Bookmark I'm it. I'm here it. for it. Clock it. it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have like a sound effect for like, bold prediction. Uh, be, be, before we get to Shelby, I've, 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 I just grabbed my phone quick, and I have two text messages and three messages on Twitter. Asking oh. where the Lopagels episode is. So I'm just saying, oh. no pressure. Oh. No pressure. Uh, oh. and, Can we start we, again? Can we start from the beginning? Yeah, we got, we got to restart, guys. Uh, <laughs> I, I, from the kick, I just checked my phone. I have no messages. <laughs> Damn. I haven't gotten one in months. Damn it, Lop. With with the kicker, I'm going opposite. I, I'm I, I'm all in saying like this is our uh, like we've always been hush hush about the kicker. We've always jinxed. I'm I'm trying to break the the trend. I'm saying this is the guy. It's over. It's done. This dude's never going to miss a field goal. So it, it's going to happen. We're safe. We're good. Like Shelby looks I'm like she's going to vomit you. as I'm saying. <laughs> a little terrified. A little stress. Shelby's a little stress. I, talk about. I will say he does give off like the Kirk Cousins vibe of like absolutely zero swag, but like enough of the zero yeah. swag that it's like, oh. Oh. Like, good. Yeah. <laughs> I see you. Actually. Young lad can get. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Young lad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Babushka. All right, Shelby, yeah. who's your guy? Your guys. You know, my, I'm not even going to talk about guys because I feel like you guys referenced everybody to be excited for. Yeah. But if we're coming down to just superstition and legacy of the Vikings alone, we do better when we're under underdogs. Yes. Like when people are talking shit is when we succeed. And I think that alone, us flying under the radar – because you think about it, we went on a five-game winning streak. Everyone's talking about us, and then we plummet. Like yes. we have, we yeah. have the Colts' greatest comeback in NFL history, and we plummet. It's like we do better when no one is talking about us. Everyone thinks we're gonna suck. We have a chip on our shoulder, and I think that that alone is gonna be really beneficial to us. And then all of a sudden, people are gonna be like, "Wait, mm-hmm. I think we're gonna that we be paying attention to no. these Vikings." Right, yeah, no, especially no. because NFC North now is like it's not what it used to be. Mm-hmm. It's not just us and the Packers. Like the Lions are, you know, they are a Super Bowl contender. The Bears are now coming up. It's like we are now one of the best divisions in the league. So it's easier to go yeah. under the radar even more. And all all that to say, I think the defense too is going to be. One of our things is we never have a good defense and a good offense. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we, we so can't have mm-hmm. – well, and 2017, we we just need one cohesive year, and I think that this year is going to be more of a defensive year, and I'm, hopefully when J.J. comes back next year, we'll be all souped up. Yes, we'll have the oh, yeah. J.J. squared. That's yeah. what we need. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, we got a, We got a couple more for you, and then I promise we will let you go. Uh, again, this is fantastic. We appreciate it. Uh, but I got. I got. I'm not. I'm, I don't want to go down the Debbie Downer route here. But the Giants are ass. They should be ass this year. <laughs> they, they should just completely suck. If the Vikings go to New York, I think they're. I think the Vikings are favored by one right now. If one they point. shit the bed and lose to the Giants, 
what, what's morale going to be? And are you just going to be <sighs> like instantly knowing that who we have ahead, like the Texans and the Niners, the Pat? I mean, we got a very tough schedule. If we lose to the Giants, uh, even though you still love the Vikings with all your heart, are you just going to say this season's going to be complete shit, Shelby? I had a one tweet where it was like, this is the perfect season to be broke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. I last year I went Confidence to six. Is low. Yeah, you That's know. a nice looking coach, though. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <my ass. laughs> well, last year, you know, I went to six games, four of which were away, and I'm trying to see them in every stadium. That's like my goal. Nice. This year, I was supposed to go to London, and I was like, you know, I could watch us lose from home. I feel like. <laughs> oh no. Um, we're but, great in London. <laughs> yeah, we we do have an undefeated, undefeated. record in London. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think this that, year. yeah, yeah. And it's just like, I was watching, you know, um, Kevin on the Pat <laughs> show <laughs> earlier. Wow. And he was talking about how last year they wanted to start fast and they didn't. Like turnovers yeah. is the biggest thing with this team. And if we could, maybe if we would have started in, Tampa Bay last year, things would have been differently because that really set us off. Those first three games was tough, mm -hmm. but we need to go into the 49ers with confidence because it is, I mean, they're the defending NFC ch champ Super Bowl contender, right? Yeah. We, someone was like, oh, we beat them last year. I was like, that was with Kirk. Like, we don't know what to expect. And I think that we need to go on with that confidence, but the Vikings, they surprise you. They really surprise you. I just think that this is the year. I'm not giving up hope. I'm just trying to stay as realistic as possible mm -hmm. because I am an absolute bitch when we lose. And <laughs> I, I cannot have my days be ruined. Like, I'm just trying to prepare now. Yeah. The next show's gonna be after a loss, just to see what show. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see some fire come out. Of I'll be real pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tough. All right, Alyssa. We lose to the Giants. Where's what are you thinking? If we lose to the Giants in those ugly ass throwback uniforms they're wearing, are they wearing in week one? Yes. Yes, they are. Oh God. If we lose. I, I don't know how we can get over that. And I am the queen of positivity usually. No, okay. Um, we'll be okay, but it's, yeah, like. <laughs> Change I don't gears know. real quick. Yeah, I don't know. It's, we have to win. I'm just like, this season. Agreed. We need something good. And a win is going to just like heal us all from this horrible off season. Yes. So yep. it, we have to get this win and we need payback from the freaking game, the playoff game a couple seasons ago. Like we, we got to shut them up. So we, I don't even want we lose. Like, let's not think about it. <laughs> please. Yeah, please. Please. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Legend of Cora. You just look like you're washing windows, but uh, your aura is nice. What, what do you think? Giants? Uh, I mean, so I was looking at the record predictions when I was going through our wins and losses. And I was like, man, everyone has us as a loss, like the first five games. And I'm like, I went and I looked at the Giants um, roster and I'm like, who the hell do they have? Like, who do they have and why are we losing to them? Yeah. Like, it makes absolutely no sense. Right. So, I mean, if we lose to them, it's. I, mean, I was gonna say that would be why we lose, gonna though. Be great. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not gonna be great. But like, <laughs> I think hopefully JJ will get up there and be like, "Guys, we got this out of our belt. Yeah. We got our interception out. Like, yeah. let's yeah. let's just learn from this and move forward." So hopefully, um, <laughs> it will be a good learning lesson. Um, <laughs> Oh, God. Nothing to learn. I don't want Zero to, to learn from this. Stuff. We lose Honestly, the games that are easy. We yes, win the yes. games we're supposed the Viking to win. Yes. We'll lose to the okay. Giants and beat the, the Niners. The only thing with this yes. is that everyone has us losing this game. Like, mm -hmm. everyone. Like, all of the people, maybe not everyone, but most of the people that I have looked at have us losing, like, the first three or four games. And I'm like, really? How do we Yikes. lose it? So, it might be one of those... I, 
I or one of those chances where it's like, hey, they're a crappy team, but everyone thinks we're gonna lose, so we win. Yeah. <laughs> Be. The bar is on the floor. Let's yeah, there's no yeah. floor, so let's 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 jump right. over it. <laughs> All right, Coda, what are you thinking? Giants. So I went to the opening season game last last year. Um, I brought my best friend who I converted into a Vikings fan, so that was her first well ever well Vikings done. Well done. experience. And you're still friends? Well, yeah. <laughs> I got Are her. I got her it? set up for discipline. Well, I graduated college, so we don't live together anymore. Okay. So she's, oh. you know, I don't have to like <laughs> sleep with one eye open. But <laughs> I, I think kind of going off of what Shelby was saying, like we lost at home, and it set the tone for home games for the rest of the season. Oh, so yeah. I think getting this, if we do end up losing, I'm glad that we'll have gotten the loss out of our, um, out of the way, away from U.S. Bank Stadium. Mm -hmm. To me, U.S. Bank Stadium is holy ground. And so the mm -hmm. fact that we had so many losses at home last season really upset me. And it, like coming from an out-of-state fan, you know, yeah. like whenever I'm there, win or lose, I, my, I am screaming until my voice gives out. I mean, and I don't even lose my voice at Taylor know. Swift's. It, it, right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and so like, I don't even lose my voice at the Taylor Swift concerts that I go to. But like, for me, it's just like, Looking at this like first five game stretch, I think of it like the greatest comeback in NFL history. It's yeah. just five touchdowns. It's just yeah. five games. Yes. If you go into it with the mindset, these are really hard games. We're going to lose. Of course, you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. right. You've created your own destiny by saying that you've self you've made your own self-fulfilling destiny. OK, and so, so Kevin needs to talk to you. Yes. yes. <laughs> so hey, we gotta get Coda in with these Vikings people. <laughs> Please hire me, Vikings. <laughs> really inspirational. Yeah, all you guys are like. You, I feel like you should all be coaches. Like the way you're talking about, like you're, you're spinning and you're spinning the fact if we lose the Giants, like how it can be a good thing and let a fire up your ass. Like I'm, yes. I'm getting mildly motivated right I now. I hope we do lose to the Giants. I'm gonna go do some push-ups. I think. Yeah. My, yeah. Do it. Um. Yeah. My um. Uh, my dad is one of those people that we start losing games. And I love my dad. I've said this on this podcast and many podcasts and on Twitter. But he's one of those people that we start losing games. And he's like, all right, time to tank. I, if, I am going to make so make many four. people mad right now. And I'm so excited because that's my favorite thing to do. Love Shut it. up. Yes. Shut up. Yes. yes. If, if you are a doctor and someone walks up to you and goes, hey, your last couple su surgeries haven't gone so well. Just fuck this one up too, and the next one. And the <laughs> you don't ask a teacher to poorly teach their students. You don't ask a a yeah. paramedic to not save the. You don't ask a light a lifeguard to. Not so why would you what ask you people? Well, and the impressive. players get mad too. They're like, yes. stop saying oh, that. Yeah. Like yeah. we're not gonna do that. Yeah. They we we live in an age of social media where everybody can see everything. They see that you don't have faith in them. Yeah, so exactly. I've I've said it before. I'll say it again. If the Vikings have no fans, I'm dead. If they have one fan, it's me. If they have ten fans, it's the six of us and like four of you know like. <laughs> I don't. Yes. yes. <laughs> I, I just, and like, I was fourth runner up as the most optimistic person a couple of years ago, which is, uh, well, it's hard to be, it's hard to beat below Alyssa. Like, let's be real. Like, <laughs> but, like he's um, therapist. There we go. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> but I, just, I don't know. <laughs> I, you might have to this season. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. We'll do it. All right. Well, Let's wrap this thing up with a season prediction. It's the time to do that. Uh, Coda, you're fired up. Let's just start with you. Season prediction for the Vikings. Win loss. What's Eleven and six. Holy! Oh, 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 yeah, like they will. They will be winning week eight in LA because I will be there hopefully. And Dang. number Whoa. eight is my lucky number. They they can't lose to Shelby and I. They no. can't do it. No, way. it's not possible. I believe it. I believe it. I'm in. I'm in. You guys. Yes. <laughs> wow. Eleven and six. I like six. it. I like it too. Shelby, what do you got? Not 11 and 6. <laughs> wow. um, no, I don't like where this is going. That's tough to beat. I mean, 11 and 6. It's... Yeah, I would say 9 and 8 okay. would be right. more yeah, realistic for me. I hate um, But that pains me to say 
So from here on out, I'm saying 11 and six. Woo! Nice. Yeah, yeah let's stay go. positive. No, Cora's like, I got these guys like three wins. Yes, no one is going to tell me any different from here on out. 11 what? and six. Manifested. Welcome to the club. I was thinking I was going to be super delusional because you want to know what record I have? I went through oh. every game, gave it six an L or, a, or a loss. Guess probably, what I have? Probably did you put 11 and six? Five. <laughs> 12 and 5. five. Wow. I'll take it. Oh, I'll take beautiful. it. Okay. Hell what are yeah. the games that we're losing, though? What? Um, I have Giants. like the Texans, the Niners, the Lions, and I do have us losing the Packers and the Lions. Okay. Sure. I have that a, makes yeah, sense. That's about where I'm at. Twice. Yeah. Those are the up. first sure losses that I think, too. But okay. all the rest, I'm like, heck, the Jets suck. The, I know. the Jaguars <laughs> suck. <laughs> People Did have so much faith in the jet. Like everyone's talking about the Why? jet. We haven't seen Rogers play in this in a season. Like, where are you guys just because it's Rogers? Like he's old as shit. Yeah, I don't even like know why man. you guys and he didn't even yeah. he wasn't even around. He was out getting high and wherever the fuck he was. Like in wilderness retreat. Dark closet. Yes. Time it's <laughs> time to Dark move closet. on. Yeah. Under our yeah. beds. Yeah. Oh my yes. gosh. Well, I am so happy that we are doing this show because I know I have found my people with all you. <laughs> my record prediction has been this whole off season and up until today is 10 and seven. So right. I'm, I'm sticking with it. I can't believe you guys are above me because I'm usually <laughs> the one saying that. And my husband is like, uh, nah, it's going to be six and 11 or just, Oof. you know, God, come on. Yeah, Who would even want to think that way? Like, why think that way? Like, yeah, he like, meant 11 and 6. He yeah, just didn't. Yeah, he just got confused. confused. Yes, he's, awesome. he's very confused. But um, yeah, they know he's one of the most negative fans. There is so <laughs> <It's true. laughs> pretty hard. But 10 and 7. You guys balance. It's all exactly. about balance. We balance. But you guys are making me want to go 11 and 6 now. But <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Good. What are your guys's predictions? Yeah, oh. hey, you guys really. Uh, you can just lie. We, we will. You set know. the bar really high. Like I, as, after all, hearing all of your like motivational speeches and now your records, I'm like, shit. I don't know if we'll lose a single game. No. <laughs> but I did. I I like if I, I had us at eight and nine, and I, I like, am I, not the most. I feel like I should just leave. Fan there is. Yeah, get the right. hell out of here. Right. You're fired. I hope I'm wrong. I'm just yeah. Oh, North is going to be, be so nice damn time. hard. It's going to be so I hard. Know. So like, hard. Everybody's okay. saying three to four wins, first pick. I think that's all bullshit. That ain't going to happen. Wait, how many wins? No, a lot of people three are picking the Vikings have oh. the first pick. You know, good four I know, five I was like, three to four? Damn. Like three that ain't going to happen. Wins. That ain't going to yeah. happen. No. When's the we, last time we even were that bad? The year we drafted Matt Khalil. What was that, 2000? Well, didn't we start off really bad with Sam Bradford? We started yeah. off really bad. But I don't think it but was I'm that saying the bad, whole was it? the whole season that we only we lost. Like, I think we were three and thirteen the year we got Khalil or four and twelve or something. Yeah, oh it's been God. a long time. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was twelve high. or another thing with the Sam Darnold thing that people aren't talking about is like one of our best seasons as Vikings is with Case Keenum. Like oh, yeah. oh, thank you. Anything yeah. is really possible here. And thank we you. have even more. I mean, again, Case Keenum, it was they had a top 10 defense. But we now have J.J. Hawkinson's going to be back. We got Addison, which is he good? Is he? <laughs> he's, he's good to I play. Think, I think I he's think good to play week like, one at least. I, heard, I, heard I don't think he's like D. I don't think he's like one. I don't think he's one material. It's a perfect number. Like, no, no, no. He's definitely good. two. He's really good. You just meant healthy. I meant healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No. No. I didn't mean good oh. like that. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. Are you watching last year? No. 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 <laughs> I meant right. his <laughs> ankle. His ankle. Is he good? Like they're saying week one. Week one. He's supposed yeah, to play. Yeah. They're saying. I think he was one. out there. Sorry. Then, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, I ran into him at a party and he was plastered. So when I heard really? that he oh, didn't drop that, no. Yeah, well, I, I know Anthony Barr very well as well. Uh, I live in LA, so you know, I'm right up in there. But he was <laughs> blacked going to more out. Of your parties, wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, Tony and Kevin. <laughs> well, I'm head of I'm head of VIP events in Hollywood, so I work with a lot of athletes. But like. Oh, cool. Once I saw that Addison got arrested for that, I was like, 
Because mm-hmm. I've seen him, and in any time I've seen him out, he's blacked out. Like, there's no... Dang. Jordan pulled together. He's a young, oh, man. young he's guy. So young, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's young. Like I said, you know, at the beginning, not when we were recording, but when I was in yeah. college, I was doing, um, you know, treasure hunts for um, Jello shots. So, <laughs> like, I've been there. Yeah. Coda's been there, Jordan. Yeah. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I love it. You guys, what do you have to say? Eight and nine? Yeah, we had the same record. Yeah, mm-hmm. Debbie Downers, you guys, Aww. you guys are gonna make it happen. You I, guys are matching. I, all, all I'll say <laughs> is with with the, uh, you guys said it already. With this defense, and with the guys they have on offense, anything is possible. I'm not yeah. writing the Vikings yeah, off by any means. Right. I'm not I think that's my means. favorite thing about this season so far. Mm-hmm. Is that anything is possible? I mean, we could blow every single game and be awful. Mm-hmm. I mean, let's be honest. Mm-hmm. We have that capability. Yeah. But we also have yeah. the capability of like scheming up blitzes that like just r- annihilate an offense and yeah. like right. just like getting just in a million touchdowns. Mm-hmm. I did make a bold prediction that I think Aaron Jones is going to break his rushing record. Not oh, a touchdown yeah. record, mm-hmm. but a rushing record. I said record. that too. I said that too. Yep. I agree. Oh, I like yeah. That. I like it. Nope. If so. it gets one game at a time, let's just right. get through game one. Mm-hmm. Yep. We have zero expectations this year. It's going to be a fun year. I don't think you guys yep. have very high expectations. Yeah. It sounds like we're going to Super Bowl. I'm excited. Five, we're going to Super Bowl. five touchdowns, man. It's we're just five touchdowns. Five there we go. Baby, manifest it. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We're good. <laughs> Uh, the one bar and level gal show. Yeah. I mean, that's a wrap. This was fantastic. I, was uh, great. I I've, I've already said it a couple of times. Like this was like a lot more fun than, I mean, I knew it would be fun, but this is what, what were you expecting? Yeah. I'm just saying like, yeah. uh, yeah. you should have heard the shit he was saying before you guys came on. That's yeah. not true. I was saying Lepagus and I, sometimes I would have never little, expected this to be fun. We get, little, <laughs> we, get little weird, we get a little off the cuff. So I think Lepagus and I kept her in check pretty well. And yeah. you guys just, you guys I'm took proud the of you deal. Boys. This is, this was, Very this proud. was great. Very proud. Yes. This Thank was wonderful. The, the links will be down in the description. Uh, Coda, uh, TikTok, huge following. Twitter, Shelby, you got like a million followers on Twitter. I think you're like 12,000, right? 12,000? Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. girl. 12,000. Mm-hmm. Hit that up. Uh, hit up the Aries archive again. I, I like, I'm not yes. just blowing smoke up their ass. I'm some... wearing a shirt right now. Oh, I love yeah, it. Not... Yeah, I need to order from you guys. Like, I know. Please, I have been please. Lupagus would look really good in that. Yeah, really yes. extra small. Sure. Extra small. I'll me. send it to you. I'll send it. Uh, to you. Hey, do it. <laughs> wear it the next show. Oh, uh, wear it. Uh, Please. No, that's not happening. Too. Uh, Alyssa, Twitter, positive <laughs> Polly out there as always. Get her to eight thousand and Cora, three blind Vikes. You're gonna be doing it in like ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Man, tune in. We'll put the links down in the description. And just to be clear, I knew this was going to be fantastic. That came out horribly wrong. I wish I would have said it otherwise. <laughs> but uh, yeah. one more love again, show. Sure. Yeah, exactly. the Thanks for having us. This was a blast. I can't yeah, thank you so much, guys. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Skull Vikings, y'all. Woo.